Anyways, we're here. We're sitting here. I am with a first-time guest on Granite State of Mind. His name is Andrew Rice. Andrew comes from Northfield, I think. Yeah, there yep. he is, Northfield right there. And we recently just met up at Pembroke City Limits. Um, and, you know, we opened up there about a month ago, and things have been going well. And Andrew showed up, and we have this thing called Open Stage, where basically artists uh, can just come and play, man. The, the mics are fired up, the speakers are fired up, the PA is fired up. And uh, Andrew jumped up the other night, and it was fantastic. He was with Bobby DeWire. And they had a dueling banjos thing that was uh, going fantastic. So anyways, we love our first time guest here on Granite State of Mind. Let's give him a big welcome. You listen to 95.3 FM WMNA. Bruce, you got to chill right there. All right, Andrew, you ready to get this dog done? Yes, I am. Everybody, uh, Andrew Rice right here, Granite State of Mind. right here on granite state of mind obviously playing a mean banjo right there welcome to the show my friend yeah i wish it was a little cleaner but <laughs> what do you mean that that was unbelievable i love what you're doing is that when you were doing the and you were playing tell, tell us what you were doing do that yeah the, yeah yeah i have tuners on here that that uh in in ban banjo in the banjo community they're called scruggs tuners because um the most inspirational banjo player ever to live um earl scruggs which is the they call this scruggs three finger style because he was the one that popularized it and three fingers playing he, like yeah, yeah three yeah. fingers playing with with the strings and and, and that's the style that you adopted or uh, that everybody adopted yeah pretty much i mean if you ask almost almost any popular banjo player that plays that style it they're number one influence is probably Earl Scruggs. Is that what you start on when you start playing the banjo? Do you start on a guitar? And is there, I mean, or do you, do you learn, did you learn how to play strings on a banjo? Um, I, I started on guitar when I was in like seventh grade. Um, and then I, I, when I was in high school, I had this, well, middle school. When I was in middle school, I had this want to, play instruments that other people i didn't see other people playing like in my area i grew up in in danville so i went to school in plastow okay um at timberlane and at timberlane they have a wonderful wonderful music program that i can't speak any can't speak highly enough mm -hmm. and uh i i can't remember exactly what got me into bluegrass music but i just knew that i wanted to play banjo 
and the the first thing I ever learned was um And when you say learn that, right? When you say <laughs> learn that, man, how long did it take? Do you start just with the three three fingers? To, or, or when you start playing the banjo, did you just practice with your, say, right hand doing the three finger thing and then move on to the, um, the neck of the guitar? Yeah, well, so I started with guitar in seventh grade and then... I played that for about two years. And no, then but I, I mean, I, I mean, like when you're learning the banjo, are yeah. you like doing those three things just over and over? Oh yeah, yeah. So it's all um, banjo tech. The three finger technique is all rolls. Yeah, what is what they call them? Okay, and they're they're all or and that's all you did for uh, days on end. To yeah, get that. It, yeah. It's it's all so like. Usually when you start out, you start off with just doing your rolls. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. And it's, and it's, you start off very, very slow and you, you slowly get quicker and quicker and quicker. Yeah. And that's how you get up to speed. <laughs> nice. Hey everybody, listen to Granite State of Mind here on 95.3 FM WMNH, Manchester's only downtown radio station where we are live in studio. So live, I just saw... Um, off the mark, uh, off the mark sports. Kyle Heavey come in, and he's a little damp. They called the game, so he's in there editing. Always working, Kyle. Always, always working. Live in studio, right here, Andrew Rice, who I met up at Pembroke City Limits, as I said. So was that? Couldn't have been your first time performing live. No, no. So no. where have you? Where, where have you been performing? And where do you play bluegrass? Um, so usually I travel around because it's hard. It's it's hard to find good bluegrass jams up, up where I'm from in Northfield, Tilton area. There's a couple of them. There's one in at the old folks' home that's pretty good. Which um, old folks' home? The uh, Tilton old folks. Home. Okay. Um, a while ago, they had a New Hampshire Chronicle on it. Uh huh. About how it's it's just an open acoustic. It you go it, go around a circle and yeah. everybody picks a song to play and everybody plays along that's awesome that's like a, uh in the round like in the yeah round. yeah yeah i mean i started playing on stage when i was in high school because uh i was in guitar orchestra in high school and shout out to mr john zivos who was my <laughs> teacher in, <laughs> you know john oh yeah he was he was my teacher in a in high school john zivos okay i know john very well too in fact he just had a huge concert in my barn last saturday he just put literally i think there was i I got a barn right up the road from the bar and um he he, he's been a good friend of mine for a while now and he must have had i don't know seven eight students in the barn playing Mm -hmm. and then another 30 people sitting there just cars started rolling in around two in the afternoon and I was taking a shower, and that's why I'm going to play Shanty Town tonight, uh, Shanty, mm-hmm. because I'm in taking a shower, and I was listening to John Zevos and his crew cranking Shanty Town out yeah. there in the barn. Anyways, I diverse back to you. So yeah, shout out to John Zevos. Yeah, he was. He was. I mean, he definitely. When I was in high school, he was one that really pushed me to keep playing. Oh, ban- man. Well, keep playing and keep discovering new things. Yeah. And- keep advancing do you know he's playing at pembroke city limits he's doing an acoustic uh, dead duo um, is he really yeah at the end of the month oh i'll have to come to yeah that you'll have to come to it it's a saturday <laughs> night everybody grand state of mind here 95.3 fm with andrew rice he's a banjo player he's from northfield let's do another one brother what's it gonna be all right um
that's beautiful. <laughs> Andrew Rice right here doing the banjo thing. Where are those songs coming from, Andrew? These, uh, well, all the ones I've been playing are all Flat and Scruggs tunes. Yeah. Um, the first one was Earl's Breakdown, which Earl Scruggs wrote. Um, back in the day, I mean, he came up with the idea of these tuners, um, but when he wrote the song, he didn't have them. So if you actually, if you listen to the original recording, mm -hmm. if you listen very closely, you'll actually hear him go out of tune at at some point. Okay. And at meaning and, they didn't have tuners when he started. No, he just had these these. He just had like the regular like the, my bottom ones are regular uh -huh. planetary tuners. Yeah. These ones have locks on them that oh. stop the note. Ah, okay. Um, Got to be an expensive guitar right there that you hold it. This banjo? Yeah. Yeah, banjo. I mean, yeah, it's a it's it's my most pricey instrument. Yeah. Uh banjos usually are pretty pricey. Um not like starter banjos and stuff, but like professional quality banjos that sure. are loud and cuz that's I mean that's what you need out of an acoustic instrument is you need it to push through through the band when it's your time to step up to the mic. Yeah, well said. Well said. So well, let, let's get back. I wanted to ask you more about some of these bluegrass jams around the state of New mm -hmm. Hampshire, which we love. Um, do you know of any in Manchester? Uh, I don't. No, currently. Okay. And and who do who who are at these? Are, are they familiar faces at every jam? And where are the other ones outside of Tilton? Um, everyone I go to seems to be different people, but every once in a while I'll see. Some of the same people. I'm sorry if I don't remember names, but I know there's a few people down in uh, southern New Hampshire. There's a lot of people down in southern New Hampshire, and there's a couple jams down there. Um, Are we talking Salem? Are we talking no, like the Nashua oh, okay. area? Yeah. Um, the best one I've been to is at is in Rochester, and it's at uh, Mr. Sip, Mr. Sippy's in yeah. Rochester. Okay. Cecil Cecil Abel's uh, place. Okay. And, uh, oh, I think I know where that joint is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most yeah. most of the people that show up are all like that's right up in Rochester, right near the hospital. Um, do you know Scott and Betsy Heron? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Green yeah. Heron. Yeah, yeah. I, I love those guys. Yeah. The fir first time I met them was uh, down here in on a in Bonfire, and it was after the St. Patrick's Day parade. Yeah, I believe. And uh, they were playing Irish tunes, and I walked up and asked if I because I also. Uh, play a little bit of mandolin too uh -huh. um they had a mandolin and that they weren't using and i was like hey can i jam with you guys for one song and they were like yeah sure so sure. we just started playing two of the nicest people to walk oh yeah i've i've together. seen them at, i've they they've played they play at mr sippy's yeah i know yeah too. right 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 um did you ever know a guy named gary bank uh uh banker I can't say it. No, okay. I, I thought he was, uh, um, he's a guy from Pembroke that um, recently passed, but he was big into playing all kinds of jams with people. Everybody, well, you listen to Granite State of Mind here, 95.3 FM, WMNH. We're Manchester's only downtown radio station with a home of, you know, Matt Connaughton's Unleash, Pete White in the morning, Kyle off the mark at 10 o'clock on Sundays. What else we got? Pauly C, Retro Spectrum Radio, right, kid? I mean, I'm looking at you, Kyle, as you walk in. The man you are. Hold on. What are we getting up here? Guest one, I imagine you are. No, you're guest two. Yeah, we got a lot of new shows here on 95.3. What are you WH. talking about? Monday what? night, we have the Ryan Sherman, the Shermanator, uh, playing some interesting hits all around eclectic music from around the world. Really? I mean, Has he they, been doing that a while? It's, it's been about a month, month and That's a half. That's it. He comes in, drives the Hearst. It's a wild time here How on Monday night. How on earth did this Ryan get a gig down here? I thought there was no slots left. He lives downtown, apparently, uh -huh. and was uh, has been contacting the Smooth station Jason for Nova. many, many times. Yeah. And so persistence now, wins. Persistence wins over a lot of times. Yeah. So, so that's great. What else? So you got Ryan's show on Mondays? I, I'm not always here. The, the issue that I have is uh, I uh, just... Finished commentating the eleventh game of a baseball tournament here in Manchester at Gill Stadium, so I'm not really able to hear all the the shows here. But you gotta love also the you know DJ at night on on Saturdays and Sundays. Yeah, who has been a great job here for. So we got some great music here. What about Polly C Retrospectum Radio? That's That'll right be coming after up tonight. Us. That's our show, seven thirty. Looking right? forward to hearing what's going on with him and 
the various things that he brings to the airwaves here on 95.3 WNH. Yeah, WMNH. We got Andrew Rice right here. Have you, uh, you know, Kyle, Andrew, if you Andrew, recognize I've been him. listening to you from outside the <laughs> studio, and it's been amazing, man. I keep up the great work. I'm jealous of your skills. Are you Thank jealous you. of my T-shirt? That, too. It's a very gorgeous. What Celt do you mean, man? Celtic green, Pembroke City right. logo. I, I mean, <laughs> it shows that you've been working out. It's impressive. I might buy, one, buy myself one of those shirts. I, I might have to go in after this. <laughs> yeah. You want to go up and have a beer later? We could, for sure. Okay. Andrew's going up there, too. Oh, yeah. Yahtzee. Um, so, and Andrew, he's a bartender at Pembroke City Limits as well. I've helped nice. out a few shifts, and unfortunately... He calls it helping out. He's actually paid. I, I, but I don't know if he's picked up a check yet or anything. I don't know how it works. Me either. <laughs> me either. I'm usually, just, it's usually how it works with bluegrass musicians. Too. Exactly. That's why you just you know give me a banjo and see if I can play something at the Pembroke City Limits with the open stage sometime. It's a great time, a beautiful place. I props to all the hard work that you and the rest of the crew have put on there, Rob. And uh, you know dreams are coming true here, and we're hoping to working out pretty good. We'll be at 30 days. Um, I don't know this week. Is that probation over the period? No. Is that what's going on? No, no, no. I, you gotta like you got you want to gauge. You want to do you're, thirty a, a month in and see where you're at. You know what I mean? And uh, I think we're in pretty good shape. I agree. Yeah, I agree. The uh, last two nights of rain, you know, been I don't know. It's a weird thing, you know, being in the bar business because you can't you can't gauge any night. You know what I mean? Until you get going. Like last, like this Wednesday night was a little slower. Last the recent Wednesday was packed. Then last night was. Uh, a good busy night, but the last Thursday, you just can't figure it out yet. That's the world of, you know, working at a bar and working in restaurants. Yeah, is, I, you know, now you're dealing with remnants of a hurricane outside right now. Yeah. It's absolutely pouring. Is it, it right now? Still? It's absolutely pouring right yeah. now. And, you know, that baseball will be back at 11 a.m. to finish off this tournament. you got another game tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I have, I have another one. And uh, the championship game will be on Sunday at 1 o'clock. And guess what? If they, What about your show? I, I, this, Pete, this is why you see me. You better text Pete. I, I, I'll get this squared away. I will get this done. <laughs> I just might need some energy drinks afterwards. Yeah. I just had one. Coffee is, oh, look at that. Yeah, I got the rain, man, whatever it's called. Anybody, Granite State of Mind here. We are live in studio, 95.3 FM, WONH. We are Manchester's only downtown radio station, or as we like to say here, the only one that damn matters. You know what I mean? I mean, that's what I say. I, Maybe nobody else. I'm not a representing anything. You know, Kyle? Well, I think it's the best station. We're both wearing shirts that represent something today. So I can't right. guess we do represent something. And we got a man over here who rep represents the bluegrass scene. He's going to bust, put that banjo down. And he's got a guitar. What are we going to finish up with, Mr. Andrew Rice? Um, I'm probably going to dedicate this one to John Zevos. Oh, uh, oh my. It's a, it's a little favorite one that um, he usually sings, especially when he does uh, dead shows. Oh, yeah. Well, fantastic. Right here, Andrew Rice. I'd rather be in some dark hollow Where the sun don't ever shine Than to be in some big city In a small one with your love on my mind So blow your so free train It'd be far down the track I'm going away I'm leaving today I'm going but I ain't coming back
rather be in some dark hollow where the sun don't ever shine than it be in some big city in a small with your love on my mind so blue I'm going away, I'm leaving today I'm going but I ain't coming back I said I'm going away, I'm leaving today I'm going but I ain't coming back Oh yeah, that's outstanding man we might, we might not let him up out of the seat. But you, you got one more in you? Oh, yeah. Let's spin another one. Everybody, I want to talk about Andrew Rice right here. He's on Granite State of Mind. He's a first-time guest on here. He's from Northfield. He's been around. I just met him recently. Uh, and two other, your, your cousins, uh, Big Tim and Rob. Uh, no. They're not uh, just my, my uh, Tim's, well, technically, they're both my brother-in-laws. Now. Oh, okay. Um, Tim is married to my wife's sister okay and who's babe who's got the baby <laughs> me that kid is the most beautiful baby dude that is like the perfect face on that little boy or girl boy that's a boy Mike, michael roy rice man that kid is beautiful and you look like you've got a fantastic wife and a mother who just adores that baby i can't i can't ask enough yeah from my from my wife yeah man she she just knows everything about children that I don't. Yeah, well, <laughs> so, she's, she's teaching you. Yeah, well, she's al- she's also a she's a an uh, environmental preschool teacher up in Canterbury. Yeah, and she is just the best with kids. Like, I I can't say enough about her. She yeah. is wonderful. Yeah, man, I can see that. I can see that when I see you guys up there, and she's got the uh, the uh, Michael little, little Michael, right? Is yeah. his name? Yeah, little Michael in her. What's that thing called? He wraps herself in. Uh, whatever. The uh, begins with a B. I just call it chest wrap. Yeah, the chest. Wrap. I know there's a name for it, but I can't remember. That's it. funny. I used to call. I used to call the baby carriage for years the push cart. All right, where's the push cart? Yeah, I gotta go take that thing. I gotta go take, walk the kid in the push cart. Uh, well, that's fantastic, man. I, I think that baby's just beautiful. So. Um, and so those are your brother-in-laws and super nice guys too. Yep. And your game plan tonight is to split out of here and head up there to, uh, jump in on the open, um, o- open stage. Yes. Yeah. yeah I'm probably going to meet all of them. They're probably all going to be over there. Great. And probably a few other people that, that, uh, have wanted to see me. So that's great. Man. I'm great. That we're, we're grateful that you're, uh, not only a friend of the show, Granite State of Mind and 95.3, but you're frequent in our joint up there in um, Pembroke, and so very thankful, man. Give us one more tune, will you? Okay. What are you thinking of? This is an old Stanley Brothers tune. I dig it. I uh, I do it kind of in a Stapleton kind of way. Mm-hmm. Um, but Stanley Brothers, another great, another great bluegrass band. Hell yeah, Ralph. Baby. I wandered again to my home in the mountain Where you'd surely dawn I was happy and free I won't for my friends But I never could find them found they were all rank strangers to me everybody i met seemed to be rank strangers no mother nor dad not a friend could i see 
They knew not my name And I knew not their faces I found they were all Rank strangers to me They've all moved away Said the voice of a stranger A beautiful home By the bright crystal sea Some beautiful day I'll be down in heaven No one will be a stranger to me Everybody I met Seem to be rank stranger No mother nor dad Not a friend could I see They knew not my name And I knew not their faces I found they were all Rank strangers to me Buddy, Andrew Rice, pal. Hit it out of the park. What a pleasure. What a pleasure to listen to you sing. It's been, um, you're a great banjo player, great songwriter, great performer. Look forward to us being friends for a long time in the future and seeing you perform for a long time. God bless that little Michael there. Everybody, grand state of mind here.